Today I've got a special video for you, or a video that I've never made ever in my whole YouTube career, and that is me responding to the negative comments that have been put on my channel, on this one specifically, because I have another channel as well, that I have collected over time. And what I say is, every comment that is pretty much made on my channel, they have to be either approved or left, and they never get shown or deleted by me. So that's why a lot of people don't see the comments, a lot of people wondering what's going on and why not seeing the comments and that's why. Because I just don't want negativity and hate spread on this channel. I want positivity and people just sharing their experiences and the helpful information. So this video is going to be a video that has some funny aspects to it and some sarcasm. But also, I want to show you that you don't need to listen to other people's opinions of you and let them become your reality. I am someone that's worked on myself for ages and I just stopped letting other people's opinion affect me because, yeah, it isn't necessarily true. And I know what is true within myself and no one is going to make me feel bad about myself whatsoever, especially when it comes to random people on my YouTube channel that don't actually know me and that I don't actually care about their critical, unconstructive feedback. So what I'm going to do is get my phone. And we're going to find some of the comments that I think are the best and respond to them. Your body is too boyish. I would suggest weight trains, add muscle, otherwise you're fit. Hmm, yeah, I think you're right, actually. I think my body is very boyish and, yeah, I just don't have any muscle whatsoever. Like, yeah. And, I, yeah, it must be the catasthenics. It just definitely can't be working for building muscle. I think you're right. I should definitely start adding in weight training. So, yeah. Thanks for that advice. Dude's head is bigger than his body. Well, I have to admit, I do have a really, really, really big head. And yeah, I even have to wear the biggest helmet possible when riding my scooter around. And I even had a DEXA scan recently where it said I had the most fat on my head. So yeah, I definitely need to do something to strip off some of that body fat and sort out my fat big head. Head. And then there's quite a few that say things such as, dude, you look anorexic, or I look like an Ush Fitz survivor. And yeah, well, what I have to say to that is, I definitely used to look like that in the past, but it's definitely changed over time, and I could gain more muscle. And I am going in the direction of doing that, I'm still early on in my journey. But yeah, I definitely don't look like I'm about to snap. <laughs> but who knows, maybe I will. Maybe you're right, maybe I am anorexic, maybe I'm just not aware of that and just don't have the mindfulness around that. So yeah, thank you for bringing that to my attention. This is someone responding to me promoting one meal a day. It says, freaking retarded. How are you gonna build any mass on one meal a day, idiot fads? What I say is not a fad diet, it is a long-term diet and lifestyle. You want to get big, eat high protein meals with complex carbs every two to three hours. And this is what most people say in the fitness and diet industry. And there's a lot of science showing that this is untrue. Um, and he says you need to do this like any other dude that's built any decent amount of size, uh, fruit's sake. So what I have to say to that is, there's people that build a lot of muscle with eating one meal a day, two meals a day, meals every hour, two hours, every three hours. It just varies from person to person. So it's just not one way fits all. And scientific research shows that intermittent fasting for long periods of time, like one meal a day, maximizes your human growth hormone production, testosterone production, and massively lowers insulin, which is all key for maximizing your muscle mass. So yeah, just someone that is uneducated. Too skinny or enough person saying, I'm sorry, but you're a bit too thin. You can gain 20 pounds of muscle sorry again but yeah i could gain more muscle and i'm going in that direction and you always get your newbie gains when you're going on so i've gained quite a lot of muscle I've gained around 10 kilos of muscle within one year with calisthenics um so slowly but surely and yeah if i wanted to take something such as synthetic pharmaceuticals out there yeah i could gain size way quicker but i'm not gonna do it i'm doing it as natural as possible. Being vegan and one meal a day is not healthy. Yes, you are definitely right. You sound like the most educated person on this and I don't know anything about this. It's just something that is a fad diet and I'm trying and yeah, maybe it's really going to destroy my health and I'm just going to fall to pieces. And um, yeah, I'm just, man, maybe I should get some coaching from this person because maybe I really don't know what I am doing. You're also a ball bag. Oh, wow. Thank you for making me so aware of that. 
I didn't realise that until now. I was trying to work out what I am, and yeah, I think you're right. I'm a ball bag. Dude, I've seen more muscle and anorexics people. Hmm, I don't think I'm looking like Eugene Cooney as yet, but maybe I will do soon. Who knows? And then someone goes on to say, I'd rather not look like I'm starving. Well, yeah, neither would I, but that wouldn't be good. It's not healthy for you at all. You look like a crackhead heroin addict. Stop the starvation and malnutrition. Hmm, I think this person is right. I have some serious addiction issue with those things that he's just mentioned. And I need to get some serious, serious help. And just sort out my psychological issues and my addictions and just sort out my life. I'm a complete mess. Like, what am I doing with myself? I'm definitely doing something wrong because I'm not thriving at all. Drink beer. Yep, that's exactly what I need. That's going to help me get the results even quicker. And that's why so many of the people out there get results because they're drinking beer. It's not the training that they're doing. It's not the food they're eating or going to bed early or anything else they're doing. It's just because they're drinking beer. So yeah, I need to get that factor in place to maximize those gains. Bruh, you need a happy meal, you look anorexic. Oh my God, this person is so smart. Like, oh my God, that is the missing link. That is exactly what I've needed is a happy meal. Like, thank you so much for sharing that with me. Oh, I'm so grateful for you sharing that with me. You must be such an expert with health. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You should be living and working in the UK wearing a suit and a put a proper roof over your head. Not running around like an hermaphrodite. Get a hold of yourself, man. Yeah, that sounds exactly what I need to do. I need to get in the rat race and work a nine to five job in a job that I absolutely hate because yeah, it's just gonna give me the best life that I possibly can. It won't give me a mediocre life. It's gonna help me reach my full potential. And yeah, because I'm from the UK, I must surely need to be living and working in the UK, not being in Thailand and like living in this amazing tropical country and living the life of my dreams. Like, what am I doing? I must be really in the wrong place. And yeah, man, oh, I must be a hermaphrodite. You must be right. Mm, I definitely need to get a hold of myself, man. I'm just losing the plot. Built like a woman. Ah, that is why I keep attracting all of these men and why they want to be sexual with me. And it's like, I started to question, like, what is going on? What am I sending out there? Like, why are they attracted to me? Now it all makes sense. Thank you for making me aware of that. Like, phew, yeah, I just need to man up and do manly things and drink beer and watch football and do these things to become a man again. What happened to your hair? You look like a prison inmate, laugh out loud. Do they obviously mean when I have my head fully shaved? And yeah, maybe I do like a, like a prison inmate when I'm like that. Maybe I shouldn't shave it anymore because surely only people that have shaved head are prison inmates. And I really don't want people to be perceived me at that, as that because it's just not good whatsoever. So thank you for making me aware of that. I just won't do that anymore. You're a fucking controller, fucker, aren't you, Dan? This person must be completely right. Yeah, I just like to control everyone and let no one have free will. And it's getting to see everything that I want to and not let them do what they want whatsoever. This person must be someone that's in my life that just sees everything that's going on. They must know me inside and out. So yeah, I definitely need to get some serious, serious help and sort my shit out. You are basically fucking around with your clients and especially those who will be very generous towards you. Taking fools who are broken and coaching them laugh out loud. Still, karma will come around. Yeah, you must be very, very right on that one. Yeah. Yeah. All of what you've just said is so, so true. I don't actually enjoy coaching people or helping people whatsoever. I just want to abuse my power and make money out of fools and not actually help them whatsoever because all I care about is the money. I don't actually care about them or whatsoever. So yeah, I better sort it out because yeah, karma is gonna come around and bite me and if I don't sort it in this lifetime, it's gonna really give me a bad life next time. This comment is the video where I talked about me getting banned from a vegan buffet in Kavanyang, Thailand. They said, they banned you because you're a creepy fucker who mongs out the vibe. They just don't like you, mate. You're a freak. Yeah, every time I went there, everyone was just freaking out that I was there and they were really scared by me. And they're like, who is this weirdo? Like, he is just creeping us all out and messing up the vibe. He's just creating a bad vibe at this buffet that I was going to. So yeah, I'm glad that they kicked me out because it's just not nice of people to be around me when I'm such a freak of nature. Looks unhappy to me, it's in the eyes. And yes, you can definitely tell that I'm unhappy by looking in my eyes because 
you wouldn't be able to tell it from actually coming into my life and looking around like you would just be able to tell from my eyes only you don't need to see anything else that is going on so you are an absolute genius you have hit it on the money like you are so so clever eat a sandwich bro you're too skinny well yeah that is definitely what i need as well just like the other person said i needed to start eating a happy meal so you're as clever as him so wow i'm getting all of this very valuable advice from experts that really know exactly what i need to eat and i just don't know anything whatsoever Fuck this vision. I didn't realise that I was so small. Maybe I just didn't notice it. Maybe I'm just lacking the awareness to realise that I am so small. I better go and measure myself later on if I'm too small. I'll get myself some stilettos to increase my height. I wanted to like this channel, but you're a self-absorbed dick. Get over yourself, man. Yeah, you're right, actually. All I care about is myself. I only make these videos so I can just look at myself on video and just obsess over my body and just fall in love with myself. It's not about me making good content or helping anyone or sharing valuable information that could change people's lives. It's just all about me, 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 me. I really can't take seriously a guy who does every freaking video with his shirt off. I mean, you look good, bud, congrats, but put a shirt on every now and then for Christ's sakes, sheesh. But I don't know what a shirt is. What is a shirt? People keep speaking about a shirt and saying, where, where is your shirt? Why are you not wearing one? This doesn't make any sense to me. I just don't understand what a shirt is. If anyone can educate me on this, please let me know. And if you can send me one, please do, because that's why I don't wear a shirt. And to be honest, even if I knew what one was, I probably can't afford it because I'm as poor as fuck anyway. Like, <sighs> So yeah, please donate a shirt to me, whatever that is. You're like a human otter. Hmm. I said this to Janessa the other day. And yeah, she was like, you definitely look like an otter. Have you not realized that before? You have the fur of an otter, you swim like an otter, you make noises like an otter, like you seriously, something wrong with you. Like what is going on? You have some serious issues. You're meant to be a human, not a human otter. You forgot to mention the roids. That amount of muscle is absolutely not possible naturally. No, it's completely impossible to gain around 10 kilos of muscle when you're doing so many different things with supplementation, going to bed early, training consistently, like eating specific foods and so many other things. Like definitely, definitely not possible. So I definitely must have been using the juice. This person must definitely be right because they are definitely an expert and yeah, they can just see that I'm just a chronic liar. They just cannot help myself but lie and lie and lie. So I can just try and attract people to my channel and get views and earn loads of money through YouTube. Still gay for doing calisthenics. Yep, you're definitely right because only gay people do calisthenics. It's not something that non-gay people don't do at all. So yeah, you just found out that I'm gay and now I'm gonna have to come out of the closet on camera like I am now. Sorry, people. Why do you look like a 1930s Jewish ghetto inhabitant? because I am one. Did I forget to mention that in videos? I'm sorry if I forgot to mention that. I try and be as transparent as possible, but it must have just slipped my mind. This person's saying something about me being vegan. Vegan? So you have an imaginary reason to deprive yourself from 100% nourishment? Yeah, I do have an imaginary reason because yeah, plant-based foods don't nourish you. All this no nutrition in them. How's it gonna nourish me whatsoever? So I'm definitely gonna end up with malnutrition and all these nutritional deficiencies. Like, what am I doing? Like, yeah, just like the other people. Thanks for making me aware of this before I just start crumbling to pieces. This one, I don't understand. I'm not gonna be sarcastic this one, but pull up your pants, bro. So we know you shave your pubes? And it's like, uh, no, I actually don't. So someone's saying something that actually isn't true. I've never done that in my life. But yeah, surely this person knows. Maybe I'm just not aware that I am doing that at all. But yeah, it just goes on and on and on. Like literally I have, I don't know, around 200 of these type of negative comments. A lot of them saying I'm anorexic, look like Eugene Cuny, a Holocaust survivor, all of these other different things. A white Ethiopian even here. Or I look frail, you look like a regular skinny guy, you don't have any muscle. You know, my mistake is being a vegan. And people even saying bacon tastes good, pork chops taste good. Yeah, they're just trying to make a joke because I'm vegan. Um, and well, 
uh, that like come from a concentration camp and so on and so on and so on. So as you can see, there's a lot of hateful comments, but there's always more positive than negative comments. But what I say is every time that people say this, it never affects me in a negative way. Because I've done the work internally, so it doesn't affect me with these random opinions that people have on me. And there's a lot of people that want to get into YouTube that are really concerned. Their main concern, I find time and time again, that I speak to people who say they want to get on there and I start talking about how they can get on there. Their main concern is getting all of that hate because they're not used to it. And there's a lot of people that get into YouTube, they end up stop making YouTube videos or they disable the comments completely or they just stop looking at the comments completely because they're not choosing to do the inner work so they don't get affected by them. So for me, I use YouTube as a brilliant self evolutionary tool for me to become a better version of myself. But not everyone wants to do that. Not everyone wants to see everything experience as a beneficial learning experience but yeah they always benefit me in a very positive way so I don't want anyone to feel bad for me and these negative comments because I really couldn't care about less about them at all I just focus on the positive ones and all of the gratitude that people have to share with me and the testimonials and stuff from my YouTube channel as well so yeah that's it for this video if you have any questions as always leave them down below if you like the video like it down below Please share this video with anyone that you think would love to watch this negative comments response video that I've done today. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on an everyday basis. And the type of videos you can expect to get from me are informational videos on calisthenics, intermittent fasting, one meal a day, calisthenics workout and progression videos, what I eat and do in a day videos, on a plant-based diet, mukbang, vegan videos, and many other different types of videos to help you learn about loads of the right information, senior direction of gain and maintain, the body desired fitness levels and the energy levels, and also teach you things at the same time to just become the best version of yourself so you can live the most happiest, healthiest human experience on this earth. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click that bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.